Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And today I'm starting my vlog. It's Sunday and I wanted to show you my Thrive Market haul before I put it all away. Then we're going to put together um, a little veggie tray snacks to take to the pool because my niece and her friends are coming over to use the pool. So let's get started. Now I got some turmeric. I love turmeric powder. Um, I already have a jar to put it in, so this was fine. Throw it away after I fill the new jar. I grabbed two of these. This was a two-pack of the Better Half Hazelnut. I'm trying to cut back on the cream a little bit, and I like to mix flavors in. So I grabbed two of those, and these have a pretty good shelf life. I mean, this is good until November, and you don't have to refrigerate them until you open them. Then I found Keto Organic Marinara Tomato Sauce. Look how clean the ingredients are. Tomatoes, onion, virgin olive oil, garlic, salt, pepper, basil. That's it. Five carbs for half a cup. This was well worth it. I think it was $5.99 if I had to guess. Then I got these Energy uh, Bite Mix Dough Bake to take when I ride my bike. I'll have to add, I think, peanut butter, some kind of a liquid, which I'll probably use like coconut milk, um, peanut butter or coconut oil, and then if I want a sweetener, which I won't add, but I'll show you what I will put in. So these are definitely not something I would eat as a treat. These are what I will eat before I ride my bike for, you know, hours at a time. I will put in a couple drops of this, which is... Um, stevia sweetener this is vanilla cream these are a little pricey this jar was or bottle was ten dollars but i mean a little goes a long way there's 288 servings in here then i got a can of coconut cream which pretty clean too zero carbohydrates i want to make a curry hence the turmeric got a coconut cream I got these coconut wraps with turmeric. I have never tried these before. They were a little pricey. I think they were $7.99 and you get seven wraps, but we'll see. It was just something I wanted to try. And then I just got some chai and some hibiscus teas. Um, this is great if you brew it. And then when you make your um, tea, I make iced tea out of it. I add a little bit of lemon juice or a true lemon to it. Oh, so good. And a sweetener. And this is for winter time. I love chai in the winter. So that's it. That was my haul. I had a coupon code and I think the total was like $36 shipped. So not too bad. Now I need to clear off my counter and get ready to build a little veggie board. All right, guys, we're going to make some adult popsicles. Now, I don't have a lot of vodka left. Normally, I would do a half a cup and the rest water, but I didn't only had a quarter of a cup left baby now these are the popsicle inserts i ordered these last summer the summer before i can't remember you get like a hundred of these popsicle they're like zip bags i mean they are zip bags but they're in the shape of like a popsicle so i think this one will make three we'll see so i get those out make sure they're open and they are zip top and then you can just rip the top off when you eat them that's what I do. Now remember, please, these are adult popsicles. So they're made with a little bit of vodka or gin or any alcohol you really you like. I know some people do the um, vodka whipped cream and add lime juice to it and it tastes like key lime pie. Really, I feel like cocktails like that that are basic can be done, but you'll have to test it out. So I have three of those, my big mixer. I'm gonna do great this time because that's what I grabbed and I just mix that in. I have a little whisker thingy, but you don't have to. It just is quick. And then I measure this up to only 16 ounces. Hi baby, the cat wants me for something. Where's my, ah, here it is, 16 ounces. Because that's the measurement for one um packet of these one packet to 16 ounces if i was doing four cups i would do two packets and there we go that's all mixed up and dissolved and that's really what you want to happen it needs to dissolve 
then I just keep a cup handy and a towel down because sometimes I spill and there is a fill line. If you go a little above it, it's okay. If you go a lot above it, you're gonna squeeze out your mix. And just a little more. And these freeze in just a couple hours. And then I try to squeeze out any extra air. And that's what they'll look like. When I put them in the freezer, I'll lay them flat just so they freeze like a regular popsicle. I still haven't figured out how to make the kids ones. Yeah, oops, see now I way overfilled this one. So just put it back in there. You just, you know, eyeball it. Plus I want them to fill three bags and maybe four. I can never, I never remember how many I can get. Or maybe it's like four and a half, I don't know. go and I went a little over and it's okay I do take the air out because remember liquids just um, expand so I got a fourth one and I believe on Amazon these were like ten dollars for a hundred of them and you get a little um, funnel now I have a spout on my measuring cup so I don't need a funnel all right, so I got four. Oop, that's a little. Okay, and that's why I need a paper towel. I just poured it all over my counter. And there we go. So four of them in a mess out of one packet of popsicle, or packet of um, crystal light and like a quarter of a cup to a half. Don't do too much alcohol or they will not freeze too little alcohol and they freeze too hard. So you gotta practice, but I've got it down to about a quarter, a quarter a cup for 16 ounces or a half a cup of vodka to four cups, 32 ounces of liquid. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer and we'll see them what they look like later. All right, now we're gonna put together just a little veggie tray to take out to my pool. Um, I do live in a condo for those who are new. So we have a uh, community pool. We're allowed to bring, you know, food, beverage, no glass containers, um, alcohol, but no glasses, things like that. So my niece is coming with some of her friends and we're going to hang out by the pool. Mostly they are. I've got to go somewhere today, but that's okay. So I didn't get ranch. I got tzatziki with spinach and parmesan. So, and this container is from Rubbermaid. Like, yeah, not pricey at all. And I believe it came in a two pack. Don't ask me when and where I got it, I don't know. Oop, wrong lid. So I just put some dip. I mean, it's just like a regular tray, guys, but it has a little lid on it. Then I picked up for them some carrots. Now two of them, well, Sarah, my niece is vegetarian. Her friend Lucy is a pescatarian, so she'll eat fish. And I think Riley is just an omnivore. That's her other friend, Riley. So my hands are clean. And I will say we're all fully vaccinated, just for the record. I'll put some carrots in here. And then I'll prepackage those. Now, I made some green beans. I went to my farm stand, if you see back here, I have a green tomato and two zucchini. I bought green beans. We all know green beans don't normally look like this, but what I did is parboil them. So I brought some uh, water with a little bit of salt to a boil, threw my green beans in, let them cook for a minute. They're not, I could have put, taken them out a little sooner if you want more snap, but they're good. And then I dumped them in ice cold water and let them sit. So, got them some green beans that they can snack on. Also from my farm stand, cucumber. Brought it home, washed it up. Put some cucumber down in here. And then I think what I will give them since I'll be out in the sun, there's a couple pickles that I purchased. And I got these at Aldi and they're in the fresh food section, 
The only thing is when I got home, I dropped the container and now there's no juice. We got to eat them up pretty quickly so they don't dry up. But I'll just give them a few pickles. It's always good to have this when you're out in the sun. Plus, I don't have a lot of vegetables in my house because I don't eat a lot of vegetables. So I think, I think that's good. And I love this container. I know it came in a two pack because the pink one's out there. Yeah, now I'll just put that in the fridge and when they're ready, We'll take it down to the pool and they can snack on it. All they need to do is make sure they eat the dip quickly, but I'm not worried about that. They'll be hungry when they come get it. Oh, and then I made them also a pan of, I made a small batch of the Brookies. And this is what they look like when they're done. The bottom is a brownie and the top is a chocolate chip cookie. I'll have to show you how I make those another day. Next time I make them, I'll bring you along. So I could put that in a bag. I'm gonna put this in the fridge, but I could put it in a bag and they can take it to the pool when they're ready. Let's see what else we can get into today. Okay guys, so I just got done at my cousin's graduation party, which is really exciting. Love him to pieces. Now we're headed home. I'm going to do some grilling. I've been marinating some chicken. Lord, this parking is tight here. I've been marinating some chicken and some pork chops and I'm going to um, get those on the grill for the week. And maybe some zucchini I have. I may either grill that or just cook it in a pan for dinner. And, I don't know, got to get some stuff done around the house. It's 3.30, so I needed to get going. We're at a golf course. It's called the Trout Club. It's very lovely here in Newark. I've never been. It's a golf course with a party house. They have a pool that I think you can, like, get a membership to or pay daily to use. I don't know. But, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. And then trying to convince my cousin on Tuesday that we should swim at the pool and not ride our bikes. But she wants to ride, so we will ride. I can use the pool anytime I want. Not a big deal. But we'll bring her daughter and her daughter's friend over and they can hang out with Sarah and her friend Lucy. Alright, so let me get going home and then we will get the grill moving. I'm going to be grilled tonight. Plus I'm hot. I know. It's not a very exciting day, but things need to happen. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got the outfit of the day. Outfit of the day. Don't look behind me at the mess. I'm getting furniture this week, but it's been a while since I've got to put on real clothes. Uh, so I have this really cute t-shirt that has all the different black stripes, some black shorts, and these beautiful sandals that I bought pre-COVID and haven't gotten to wear yet. And they actually match the border on here. And I did my hair and makeup today because it's the outfit of the day. The outfit of the day. And I went to a graduation party in this. Now we're grilling, so let me take you out and show you the grill. All right. There's the brookies the girls brought back. I, my house is a mess. Um, all the cleanup from the pool, but here we have what's going to be grilled. And I marinated in some Greek dressing, some pork chops and chicken thighs. So they're just coming to room temperature. And then I'll put them in the grill. I also made a pot of coffee that I'm going to put in there for iced coffee. Yep, my house is a mess. This is what happens after the weekend. And then we're going to go outside and see Mr. Wellington. This is how far he gets. He just likes to lay on the patio. 
But here I have, and you won't, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the flames coming up. This is my chimney. This is how I get charcoal hot enough to cook on without actually using any lighter fluid. This back patio needs some work. But, so that's cooking up. It'll be about another 20 minutes before I can grill. There's Mr. Man Wellington. Hi, buddy. Hi. What are you doing? I just had my patio power washed. And there's my table. The fence was painted last year. I need to bring my umbrella and chairs out. And this is all my neighbors. And this is the community area, my condos. And more neighbors. Yep. All right, let's get this grilling going. All right, so while I've got the grill heating up real quick, I'm gonna put some onions, zucchini on to cook with just a little salt and pepper to uh, flavor it up a little bit. Cause I think that will be good with my grill, either the chicken or the pork chop could be either one, really. But I enjoy zucchini and onion. And I got these fresh from my market stand, the farm stand by my house. But they're going to take a little while to cook. They're pretty fresh. And the meat will not take forever to grill which is nice. And I will eat this several times this week. You know, do you know what I'm saying? Because I quite enjoy it and it's not bad for me. So we're going to do two zucchini and then I did a small onion. Um, just be aware onions are full of carbohydrates, especially if you get like a Vidalia, they are, or a red onion, they're all very much, um, full of sugars and that's what makes them so delicious. Um, once this is cooked down, I'll probably add some like garlic to it, uh, fresh garlic towards the end. You don't want to you don't want to cook fresh garlic with a bunch of vegetables that have to take a while because your garlic could burn. So we have that over here, right? This will take a bit. Put some olive oil, onions, and peppers, or, or peppers, onions and zucchini. And then I'll let it cook down. And once it's almost done, then I'll throw some garlic and a little more salt and uh, I can do pepper now. So that'll be my side dish probably for a couple days. Now Tuesday, the plan is to take a half a day. I'm gonna go bicycling with my cousin and then we're gonna go to the pool with all the kids. And by kids, I mean her 14 year old and my 30 year old niece. There we go. And then maybe later this week, I'll do a green fried tomato. Oh, I love green fries. Now I don't use cornstarch or flour, obviously. So what I do is pork rind dust and um, Parmesan cheese. But there, that's how I'm gonna start this off. And yeah, and then once it's almost done, I'll throw the garlic in and just let that cook up real quick. But that'll be a while. Now I think the grill might be ready for me to dump the charcoal into the, into the grill. See all the white up in there? That means it's ready.
here we go. This is grilled pork chop and a little bit of chicken thigh with my vegetables. And I decided to put Saison on it, which is Spanish seasoning. <gasps> so good. Guys, it's so good. So I just mixed the packet in with all that zucchini and onion and it's perfectly delicious now. And then the grilled meat, when I marinate it in salad dressing, it keeps it super moist, including the pork chops, which you know can get super dry on the grill. Especially those were kind of thin, but they were delicious. So now I'm gonna have dinner and relax for a little bit. You don't have them where you're at. Here's the cicadas. 